is up everyone? It's Sir Deathvids, and today I'm playing Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm playing this home alone, in the dark. It's exam week, so that's why I'm home during school time. I'll take a video to show you how dark it is in here. Really dark. So, it's gonna be fun. Twelve AM, first night. Don't answer that, I'm not here. There's nobody here. Where is the phone, by the way? That's the camera. I'll mute that. There we go. I already know how to play this game. Now I'll just sit here doing nothing. This is how the job should be, in reality. And then you just check cameras every so often, make sure that no one's broken in. Okay, everything looks good. This is kind of creepy in the dark. And it's fun at the same time. No one's moved yet either. Look at Chica's teeth. They could tear you in half. Why do I feel like something moved? 84% power and it's only 1am. I should just continue sitting here and doing nothing. My friend said that you could wait until like 2am on night 1 before they even try and move. Which is really good. And then they could kill you by 3 a.m. if you aren't watching the cameras or checking lights. So you just check them every few minutes and you should be good. Like, Bonnie's moved. Okay, she's backstage. So that's good. So I'll check again. Okay, it's still backstage. No one else has moved. There's no need to check the lights if there's only one, and I know their location. Virtual reality games are so scary, because it's like you're actually in that environment. Oh good, it's 4am. Hi Bon Bon. There's an auditory clue for when you're at the door. That's very helpful. Still there. So now I just have to wait until you go. You're still here. Oh, right. I want to keep the door closed because I could get a power drain. I forget which animatronic does that to you. Still there. Yeah. No one else is there. Oh! You can also tell when she's going away. That's helpful. Holy. Good job, Scott. Why do I just have one single light? That's not the best for an office. You should have good lighting. So I just have to watch and listen at Bonnie's door because so far Chica won't be there and then they can't jump scare you until you put up the cameras. The only one that can do that I believe is Foxy and he doesn't normally come out on this first night. So if I put both doors down for now, you shouldn't do that on the other nights. Okay, so Chica's probably in the dining. Oh, Foxy's trying to leave. Uh, there's no one backstage. Chica's not in the kitchen. I can't tell if there's anyone in the East Hall. They have terrible quality cameras. So if you see Foxy move, immediately close that left door. I think that I can survive. Oh, hi. Oh, right. Shut off the light. 
No, I just have to wait for you to uh, go away. Wait until I hear your footsteps running away. Your giant clunky metal footsteps. 16% power at 5 a.m. I could have done better. But I was wasting my door energy making sure that I wouldn't get jump scared. I don't think that there's any way that I can lose on night one now. And she's just left. Oh, no. Does that mean that... Oh, yay! 6 a.m. Okay, so it's night two. I don't want to pick up the phone. Thank you. I, I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. That's uh, not good. It might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Yeah, don't uh, let the power go out. the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots have to be right outside your doors. So Why would you make the cameras like that, then? Or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Okay, uh, I'll check the camera there. once. Also, Someone's gone already. I don't know where she is. That's scary. Um. Oh, that's great. Also, I heard a sound. Oh. Okay, so. I just have to sit here, I can't put up the camera. I waited too long. Great. Now I'm a sitting duck. So I have to keep watching this door here. And I can't put up the camera, otherwise I'm going to get jump scared by Bonnie. And also Foxy better not come out running out. Oh, this is bad. Very, very bad. Foxy isn't the worst jump scare. I think it's either Chica or Bonnie. How am I at 79% power? It's like this place is run on two AA batteries. It's crazy. Okay, Chica's not there yet. I don't know how to make those door light work again. That's annoying. Oh, I think it's someone... Uh oh. Ah, oh, come on! I didn't mean to do that! Ah! Now I have to check behind me and see darkness. Oh, great. Look at my eyeball. I knew that that's what was gonna happen. If I wasn't careless with my mouse cursor, that wouldn't have been the case. Okay, I'll continue from night two and I'll mute the phone call this time. Okay, so I'm trying this again. Except this time, I'm going to let his phone call go through. Chica's uh, not Chica. Bunny's already gone. West Hall already. I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also 
also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh -huh. There are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots have to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, yeah, that's how I lost last time. To react. Uh, yeah, there's only seconds before they disable them. Chickas and dining. I'm just doing that. I'm not sure what happened there. But. Oh, Bonnie's in my supply closet. Set those back up. Do not use any power. Sit here. Check my light. Hi. And Chica, are you here? No, you are not. You are not there yet. Okay, you're still there. Still there, holy. Okay, so I'm going to open that and then just not flick up the camera because I don't want to waste too much power. 2 a.m. and I'm still at 60. 3 a.m. I should be at 50 or more. So I'm just going to wait. And as long as you're there, Foxy can't jump scare me. So I just have to not accidentally hit the camera button like I did last time. Oh, I'm doing bad. 56% at 2 a.m. Oh great, those two are disabled. Here comes Foxy. Sad thing with this game is that it's gotten buried in all the lore and stuff that you can't really piece together a continuous story because there's so many fan theories and other explanations and ghosts and mutilated children. If you flip up your cameras, you get jump scared by Bonnie. But if you can't close them, then if Foxy comes, you're dead immediately. And you don't really want... Oh! Oh no, are you kidding me? I was getting the Golden Freddy jump scare. So next time I flick up my camera, it's gonna happen, and then if I do actually get it, it crashes the game. So that's great. Oh! I hear something. Is that an animatronic coming to kill me? Foxy, I'm guessing. So either Bonnie or Foxy will say hello. Are you kidding me? 31% at 4 in. Oh, are you kidding me, Foxy? I knew that that was going to happen. Holy, I suck at this game. Okay, let's try this for the third time. Hopefully I do pass. Good luck. It's good luck there. What I was trying to say earlier is that with virtual reality, you're actually in that environment, so that's why it's way more scary. Because you're actually there, whereas if you're playing on a monitor, you can just look away and you're not there. Whereas in virtual reality, until you take off that headset, then you're still in there in that world. So you have to check your lights every single time you put up the camera. 
I hate all this background music. I'm trying to listen for the animatronics, but I can't. So you're in the supply closet. But for how long, you know? Difficult to say. Ha! I knew that you'd be there. So if I put up the monitor, check the... Oh hi, you're in the restrooms. Freddy's still on stage. What does the knocking mean? I'm scared. So she's in the kitchen, if I'm correct. So Bonnie's in the West Hall. Chica's gone from the kitchen. We might make it to night three. Which I don't understand why I'd go back if I was nearly murdered. What's the point? Why don't you just go work at McDonald's or something? It's kind of the micromanaging that you have to do is annoying. And also your power management. And in the second game it's even more complex because you have a flashlight, you have the mask, you have a music box to wind as well. Plus watching for all the animatronics and making sure that they don't go through all your vents. Well, I'm dead. Again. Because I was talking to you guys. Well, here's another jump scare. It's time to get jump scared by Foxy right now. Ha 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 ha. I, I knew that you would be there. Well, that was not fun. Although it kind of was. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys. Uh-oh.